We wanted to change the system. We weren't fighting a race, we weren't fighting a people, we weren't in that sense fighting individuals. We were fighting to make the society a better one. Suddenly everything is very dark and I thought it would go away, but it didn't go away. Then I realized something terrible had happened to me and I said into the darkness what happened and a woman's voice said it was a car bomb. died there. And yet that sense of surviving and getting better, and my country getting better, started at that moment in Mozambique. The creative behind the Albie Sachs portrait was to take a man who'd sacrificed, who had lost a part of himself physically and emotionally with a view to seeing a whole South Africa, a democratic South Africa come together. We come from very different backgrounds, different life experiences, different philosophies, different worldviews. And what you need then is not a clash between the worldviews, with the one triumphing over the others. You need a dialogue, an interaction, a coexistence. Drop your right arm a bit. There, that's it. That's amazing. It's really good, Albie. I can't separate out the way I look, the way I am, the way I feel, the pains I suffered, the joys I've had from what's emerged from all that. Losing my arm was for something, and the something is now embodied in our Constitution, in the reasoned, humane decisions of the Constitutional Court. It validates belief in the possibilities of transformation. I'm very proud of our flag. It's a little bit crazy, it's got six colours. It represented the triumph of humanity, the will to find a common basis for living together in one country. In that sense, it's a glorious flag. Oh, there's some beautiful catch light now. Okay. Oh, there's the light. Albie Sachs and that photo is all about sacrifice, but not in a way where you should feel guilty. It's all about hope. It's all about generosity. It's all about living in the now. It's all about do not feel sorry for yourself ever. You live with rage, it eats you up. You live with anger, it, it consumes you. You live with a sense of transcendence, of getting beyond a transformation, and it elevates you and it makes it possible for you to live with a sense of dignity and pride. <laughs>